Hi guys, uh, let me introduce myself. I am Ishwar. I have worked on uh, .NET and SharePoint uh, and around uh, have 12 years of experience into these technologies and very much expertise into that technologies. I did worked on different uh, versions of uh, .NET and SharePoint and today I am going to discuss uh, about uh, SharePoint and when they came uh, and what is the importance of uh, SharePoint. SharePoint was launched in 2001 as uh, Windows SharePoint Server and uh, uh, SharePoint Portal Services in 2001 and later on uh, it was uh, released in 2007 as MOS Microsoft Office SharePoint Server okay and later on in 2010 they have released a new version with SharePoint 2010 and uh, SharePoint Foundation 2010 and share in 2013 nowadays in uh, <coughs> SharePoint 2013 they have introduced like uh, SharePoint Foundation and SharePoint uh, Server 2013. So why, what is that SharePoint is? What is the use of SharePoint? SharePoint is mainly useful for collaboration. Collaborating the people among in the site. They can uh, exchange their uh, technologies, uh, their, um, what is that, blogs, everything that they can share among the people. So that's the reason it's a very good collaborated tool. And moreover, it is a very good document repository. Like we can store, we can save, we can place so many doc documents like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, InfoPath forms. All these should be maintained in SharePoint portal at one place so that the people ca can come and uh, they can uh, use any documents they want. Right? So that is the reason it is a very good document repository. And uh, Moreover, it is a very good content management system. How it is a very good content management system? Because, see, uh, we people are pushing all the content into the portal, into the site. Right? I am saying portal here. I am not saying any Windows application or web application. We can call it as a portal, but we can build either Windows application or web application by using SharePoint as usual how the other languages are doing but in a better way with a very feasible and a better way the customer can have a very easy to monitor or to do his uh, work with the SharePoint portal a layman can do that a layman can operate the SharePoint that's the reason it's a very good tool nowadays very good uh, technology nowadays and Microsoft has given a uh, very good features like out of box in SharePoint like a kid can do that uh, uh, can play like anything with out of box features they have already developed out of box features with the clicks with clicks we can do so many things by clicking uh, sh on the SharePoint portal go to the site settings and all and give a name to list and a library so that we can push so much of data in SharePoint with very easy, right? That is the reason. All this content, whatever the content, for example, like the HR people or admin people or sales and marketing people, they do have, these are all different departments in an organization, right? We are providing a list or a libraries. The list and libraries are something like the table structure, which have some columns into that, like uh, for example, a HR guy uh, needs to enter some data, employee name, employee designation and all these kind of stuff, gender, address, city and all. So we will provide a site columns in the, into the list so that they can enter these details and maintain into the SQL Server database or any other databases, Oracle or somewhere. Right? There are so many da databases nowadays. So whatever the database that the client is maintaining all that uh, stuff the content will be maintained over there by default it is SQL Server because it's a Microsoft product you know that right and Microsoft uh, products like SQL Server MS Axis all these are all Microsoft products they are, so they never go for outside if the clients having different other databases then they are maintaining that content management in that databases even we can connect to other databases by using SharePoint designer like 
there is a concept like uh, business connectivity services here everything is a uh, service applications we can develop so many apps nowadays you know guys everything is an app app right you are installing all all your apps into the into your mobiles facebook right any uber cabs whatever you want all these are all coming up with apps right so we can develop apps by using sharepoint with very good uh, uh, organized uh, apps A app model app model was introduced app model is introduced in sharepoint so that we can develop our own app and we can host that apps on to office 365 cloud environment or windows azure cloud environment so that we can do the business with the customers i told you already that we can develop intranet applications and extranet applications intranet applications means within the organization we can develop an application for the organization the people who are working in the organi organization can use that intranet whereas extranet means which is access over the net like facebook flipkart amazon like that apps also we can develop by using sharepoint okay with a very good performance and a very good or uh, highly secured with, with sharepoint that's the reason the sharepoint is a highly trusted application it's a very good technology nowadays guys because I am seeing there's a lot of market on SharePoint nowadays. So many projects who had already developed in .NET or some other technologies are migrating to SharePoint nowadays. Because only the reason it is maintaining, it is giving so many advantages than the other technologies, and a very a lot of opportunities are there. If you consider an organization, there will be so many projects going on on SharePoint. and if a guy who has taken a course on sharepoint very easily get a job because that much hot is the technology nowadays into the market